so Rocket League just tweeted out that the Ultim update info has been released. Before this video starts, I want to announce a giant giveaway that I'm hosting, and it's all because of Game Flip. They came out to me, they're like, Do you want to do a giveaway with sponsor? I was like, Sure. So I'm giving away all mystery decals on PS4, 10 keys on PS4, and a $5 Steam gift card for PC. There will be three winners one will win all mystery decals, one will win the 10 keys, and one will win the $5 Steam gift card. The rules are pretty simple you have to leave a like on the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment down below why you want to win and the most important step is you have to register on game flip using my code so if you've already made it count i would suggest making a new one i guess uh, you also get one dollar now if you don't know what game flip is here's a little intro to what game flip really is and then we'll get into the video if you want to easily buy or sell rock league keys and items check out game flip in the description below the first thousand people that sign up using the code on the screen and in the description get a free dollar to spend on whatever they want on game flip the site guarantees protection for seller and buyer so don't worry about being scam. Enjoy the video. So Rocket League just tweeted out that the Ultim update info has been released. So this update is coming out on September 28th. It is an update that I'm really excited about because we haven't got a Rocket League update in like the last three months. So yeah, I'm really hyped for this update. It, it does have a new crate. I've already like looked through it. Um, the trailer I'll play at the end of the video if you guys want to see that. So they have already tweeted out that they've made Wasteland and Starbase Arc into normal arena. So like the Wasteland is now flat and the Starbase Arc doesn't have the hexagon shape anymore. They got a Champions Field day now instead. I think they had night before. Um, they added a day one for the DFH Stadium and snow for the Manfield one. This one looks really sick, I think. Personal opinion. So there's going to be a new seasonal arena that's called Farmstead. Um, it's going to be uh, limited time. So, you know, definitely try to get most like enjoy the time that you're playing on this map this is like what it kind of looks like like these surroundings they got fake cows disappointed no i'm kidding uh they got a nice little background like this then this is like the inside of the arena there's like a little thing the stadium like it just looks pretty sick like you guys can look for it like look at it yourself definitely like the goal this does look like a pretty cool arena it definitely does like kind of give like a feeling of like a thumb you know like you can definitely see that's a theme also if you look on these tires i don't know if this has always been there and i'm just noticing it now but th th those look like snow tires to me Okay, some cool improvements. The Ultimate Update expands existing systems and features in a bigger, better way. Okay, so ongoing events. We're rolling out more limited time events later this fall. Look for more details. Watch each in-game event drops after the Ultimate Update launches. So basically, that means that there's going to be lots of those limited items again that no one really cares about. I think. I think that's what it means. Could also mean something completely different. But this, this looks really like I've already read through this kind of a bit. Introducing decryptors, or however you're supposed to pronounce that. It sounds right anyways. During events, you can acquire new, rare items called decryptors. These can unlock any crate, including the ones during limited time events. This, I'm so excited about. Like, this looks pretty sick, like, the picture that. Like, it's like, like a USB stick type of thing. And basically, this can unlock any crate, so you don't need to buy keys for, like, some people. If you know, you've never been able to open a crate before. And this, the accelerator crate. This is the brand new crate. Uh, potentially grab the new import battle car. Uh, I'm not even trying to pronounce that. It's like Jagger or something like that. Uh, I probably definitely mispronounced that. I'm not even gonna... Never mind, just wrote for me. Uh, 619 RS, flash trails, new goal explosions, or animated wheels. And it's called the Accelerator Crate. Probably already said that. The image looks pretty sick. Not gonna lie. So the new rare that they're coming out with is the... Uh, paint finish, uh, apparel scent or something like that. Matt, I, I don't know how you pronounce that, but, you know, this looks, you know, pretty decent on this car, at least. The very rare, I haven't even seen this myself. Hot Rocks, a very rare trail. Not a big fan of this stuff. I, I never go fast enough anyways. No, I'm kidding, okay, but, I mean, I'm, I personally don't really like them. Like, I don't think they're that special. The import is... Power Shot. I don't know. It's not... It's like decent, like you have the lightning effect. Uh, I, I was hoping for something better. Like I haven't even looked through these yet. Like, why did they put photon boost on? Like put on white zombies. Okay, I'm kidding. I mean they could have, but I, I don't think it looks that sick. The exotic, please be good. Chrono, oh, Chrono wheels. Okay. I mean it looks better than fidget spinning wheels. That's a, and turbine wheels. I don't know if these will be that expensive because I mean it does give like the pulses effect kind of discotheque pulses kind of theme. Yeah, it, I don't know, it'll probably be more expensive than fidget spinning moves, because you can probably buy those for like two keys. Popcorn. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna lie, like, it looks pretty sick. Like, okay, this, this does look pretty sick, but I don't know if it's gonna be that expensive. But, I mean, 
Okay, that looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty sick. I'd want that. Like, this is like fireworks, but then with like a different animation kind of thing. I don't know. Oh, okay. I like this one. I like this. I like this. The new bed. Oh, that looks sick. That looks nice. As a drop inside. Okay, so this is gonna be, I'm pretty sure, an import. This car looks sick. And those wheels. Wait, are those even like on Rocket League? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I want this car. I want this car in life. And it's gonna be a drop. So you don't, it's not gonna be a DLC car, which I mean, I wanted a DLC car because I have some like five bucks on my PS. PS4, you know, like, I could have bought a DLC card with that, but, you know, I'll wait. Okay, so, player banners. Customize your Rock League experience with player banners. These are unique graphics equipable by players that surround the names and in-game title. They appear during goal replays and on the post-game celebration screen. Unicorn, oh, no, I don't want that. Uh, let me, uh this one, I guess, is kind of decent. I like this. Uh, not really. Um... This one, I mean, it's pretty funny. Unicorn, <laughs> nope. Pizza slice, also not really. Feathers, I don't know. Like, if I get this, it's pretty sick, but like, like come on, Sionics. Could you not, like, done something a little bit, like, less childish? Like, we're not all three-year-olds that play your game. In my opinion, you guys may like it. I'm not gonna judge. Season six, oh, okay. So, first off, I thought they lo all looked pretty pretty bad you know like i didn't really like them but like looking at it again like like it looks a lot better than this and i'm getting this one because i'm just so crap and i think they should have made the platinum a lot better color like even if i got platinum i probably still would have been using gold but they all look pretty sick especially champion and grand champion sucks that i'm not good at rocket league so yeah and yeah if you guys don't know there's a transparent goal post and revamped in-game blog that's that little uh thing that you have like at, the, at your home menu Director mode beta, the version of a brand new director mode offers a new way to spectate match matches. This AI powered camera cuts to the most relevant player's viewpoint based on what's happening in the match. It can even predict future shots and saves to find the best angle. That's going to be cool for the RLCS and I really like this one. This this actually seems like a good good uh, camera. Like, I like this. Like, this. These updates, they need to bring more updates like this. This stuff makes the game better. And here we have the new uh, items. Uh, we got baby bunny topper. <laughs> this is oh, avocado topper, pinwheel antenna, taco boost. It's all uh, I don't know. It's just it's way too childish. Like I don't know. That my opinion is they they're all a bit childish, but uh, you know it is what it is. Rock League is just what it is. And these will be. As uncommon, rare, and very rare. Okay, you can trade them up. That's good. That's going to be trading those up until, like, some white octanes. No, I'm kidding. Lanceport. We've heard your request for local play, which is why we are excited to announce that starting this uh, with the autumn update, PC players can be experience, can experience local multiplayer games, local multiplayer games for parties and local tourneys to expand Rock League's competitive landscape even further. That sounds pretty cool. I am kind of hyped for that, only it is PC and I'm PS4, which, yeah, it is what it is. But, uh, I'm gonna play the, um, I'm gonna play the trailer for you guys right now, but before I play that, please leave a like on this video, like, let's try to get this video to, like, I don't know, like, 500 likes, I'm kidding, uh, it's just, just leave a like if you guys want. Also, join the giveaway, make sure you sign up via the game flip code in the description, have a great day, guys. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and enjoy the trailer. And then after that, I'll play my outro, which is not that dope. But yeah, and have a